Hi folks, this is James Tomlinson and we're up here in a field in Prestwick in Ayrshire in Scotland and we've always wanted to experiment with the various lines which are most popular for still water fishing from the bank. These are floating lines right down to the extra fast sinking lines. I'd like to try them out all for distance and accuracy. We've got actually measured distances between 100 feet right up to 150 feet and it's an excellent day to do this experiment because the wind is very very light. It's first week in March, approximately uh, the middle of March and the temperature at the moment is around about 5 degrees and uh, you see yourself is fairly good conditions. So if we start right away with a, a floating line and go right through all the living lines to see the best results you get with the type of lines that we're using both for accuracy, distance and presentation. Well folks, we're testing these lines here and the first one I'll be using is a weight forward 8 floater. This is a um, 50 yard line, 150 foot line and the other lines are 120 feet, that's 40 yards, the 105 feet is 35 yards and I've got a 90 foot line which is 30 yards. So start right away with this um, floater which as I say is 150 feet and see how the distance I can get with it. That's not bad, that's practically the whole um, 50 yards of line going out and very very useful to be able to cast a fair distance with a floating line. The conditions today are tremendous, it's very very little wind and you can see how you can get the whole line going out with the proper casting technique. As I say I'm not putting a lot of effort into it, allowing the line to fully flex and then going into the forward cast. That's right down to the backing of the 50 yard line, so that's practically the whole line going out towards the 150 foot mark. Do another cast again to see if we can get slightly beyond the 150 feet. Unfortunately, um, when it's a light wind it's very difficult to get much further with ordinary lines. None of these are special lines or any shooting heads, they're all weight forward lines of the standard lines you can buy for uh, still water fly fishing from the bank, these are the most popular lines, so try another longer cast here and see if we can just actually get beyond the 150 foot mark. One more cast with this uh, floater, they're all weight forward 8 lines, as they are the most popular lines for still water bank fishing. So I'll give one more cast and see if I can get beyond the 150 foot mark. Again you can see it's right up to the end of the 50, um, 150 foot line, that's 50 yards line, the whole line as you see has been cast in the forward cast. One more cast with it and then I'll go on to another line type. Right, I'd like now to go into a clear floater. The last one was an orange floater, it was actually 150 feet. That's 50 yards long, but this is a, a clear floater, which is a very popular line. I've had very good results when fishing from the bank and still water. It's not as long, it's 120 feet or, you know, 40 yards long. And a lot of people talk about this magic 100 foot mark when they're casting. But if you watch here, that's actually quite easily obtained. If you load the rod properly, I'll just do a 100 foot cast. Lift it, load them. That's well over 100 feet. Just with that strong pull on the forward cast and making sure that you load the rod properly. Remember that the rod's a spring, the line is an elongated weight, so it's all about loading the rod properly. Now if I take the whole um, line out, that's a 120 feet line or 40 yards, I'll try and cast over that 125 mark with that, that's giving you a good cast of 45 yards, so that's the whole
line out and again nice straight nice straight back cast back pause there's a whole line going out to the um, white backing now I'll do a, a longer cast with it and see if I can get up towards again the 150 foot mark with this slow it's a clear floating line which is becoming very very popular but the main thing when you're casting at distance is try and elevate the stroke and follow on down with the rod and line and that gives you a much better presentation so again get the line moving up and just let it go in the forward cast always remember to give that sharp pull at the right moment when the, the rod is fully under compression once again load it up pause See, there's, there's a whole 40 yard line as soon as you get more backing out that gives you up towards the 48 yards so you can see with each line probably the maximum distance you can probably get with this type of equipment without using a shooting head and monofilament um, backing is around about the 50 yards so if you watch here again as long as you load the rod and put the compression in it just up pause high up just get the line moving see the whole line going out What I've got now here, very popular line, this is actually a slow intermediate and again it's um, 120 feet, that's a 40 yard line and we'll see if I can get the same distance as the, um, the other two lines, the other two lines were floating, the last one was actually a clear floater so I'll go into the um, same technique with the, this is a slow intermediate, a very good line for fishing just under the surface there again the whole line goes out right down to the white um, backing line and you can see the technique for good presentation is to aim fairly high and follow on down as I said earlier with the rod and line and you get a much more delicate presentation don't aim too near the water when you've got these um, long distances try to come down with the rod and line slower so if get that again out pause straight back there. See the whole line going out right down to that was well over um, 45 yards. If I take more of the white backing off, you can see the whole line, the whole green line going out, and the 12 to 15 yards of the white backing going out after it, which gives you a fair cast. Get it nice and up. Pause, straight back. There, there's approximately 12 yards of the white backing line going beyond the end of the green um, 40 yard line. So you can see yourself, they're all going roughly the same distance. The wind slightly picked up in the past half an hour. In the morning, we're getting around about the um, 50 yard mark it's going slightly beyond that because of the, the wind picking up so if you watch here moving fairly high in the forward cast in the line up 
Oh boy. You see the whole line. That's a, that's roughly maybe 14 yards off the um, back and go. So I'll do one more cast with this slow intermediate, and then I'll move on to a fast um, intermediate line. And see if there's any difference in the distance. It's a slightly thinner diameter, so I'll go through the airstream that bit faster. So I may get slightly longer. But if you watch here, these are all going around about the 50 yard mark. That's 150 feet um, to the end of the, the leader. So. These leaders are up, forward. The whole line goes out. Now there's a change now over to this um, fast intermediate, a very popular line, particularly at the start of the season for rainbow trout. It's a very, very good line. It's quite useful to have a selection of lines when you're still water fishing from the bank. And as I say, these are the most popular ones which people are using. I always was quite keen to see if there's much difference in the distance. Unfortunately, a lot of people think they're casting a lot further than they really are. It's only when you actually measure it out that you can really tell um, what distance you're getting. But there's certainly quite a bit of skill in getting the line landing properly. And unfortunately, most people, when they cast a length of line, they tend to slash down onto the water instead of allowing it to drop from a fairly high position. So if I move over now to uh, another line, this time it's a fast intermediate, a very popular line with a lot of anglers. And if you watch here again, get the line working for you, get the rope. Again you can see it's a 40 yard line, 120 feet, and you can see how you can get the whole line going out and several yards of the backing beyond it. So if you notice the wind slightly picked up in the past half an hour, as I said earlier, and you're getting a, a bit further than there was maybe when we started with the floating line, that wasn't very much wind at all. But if you watch here, loading the rod properly and always aiming and drifting down with the rod and line to give me a good presentation in the forward cast, make the rod work, let the, the rod flex properly, flex, let the line straighten out, up. There's a line going out many yards off the back and going behind it. So you can see with all these lines, you're getting a fair distance. They're well over 45 yards in these conditions, which is very beneficial, particularly fishing from the bank in a lot of the larger still waters. You're covering so much more water and particularly useful in competition fishing from the bank. Once again, if you watch here, I'm just letting the rod load, load properly, load it forward, up. And then the whole line goes out. I'm doing now, this is um, actually a popular line at the moment, it's a sink tip line, it's a three foot sink tip and these are only 30 yards line or 90 feet in length so I'll take the whole line out and see if I can get 10 to 15 yards off the back and beyond it so even in these conditions with the 30 yard line and with a sink tip line you should be able to get well over 40 yards so I'd actually take the whole line out and 
you can see here the same technique along the line to fully straighten and I'm not putting a lot of effort uh, in the whole casting movement straighten up and then cast forward and take the line right down to that's the green backing behind it that's the full fly line going out right down to the green backing see if we can get the whole 30 yards going out plus maybe 10 yards beyond that Line straighten. See, there's a the whole line going out, plenty yards of backing going behind. But even even with the, these sink tip lines, if you compress the rod properly, you'll see you can still go well over 40 yards. As I say, this is a very popular line, that various sinking tips. This one is three feet. I've also move on to another one which is six foot, another popular length of the sink tip. So you watch here, movement. Oh. Line straighten. See the whole 30 yards going out and many yards of the, the green backing going be behind it. And a lot of people, as I said, in the past, they talk about, you know, 100 feet, but you can see, um, without any great effort you can get well over 125 feet that's the, the marker just out in front there purely by that technique of making sure that you put the power stroke in at the right position of the forward cast but straight and up but make sure it's we'll do another one in there and get the whole way in The main thing is to make, make the rod work. You make the rod work for, no point in paying a lot of money if you don't make the, the rod up. Oh. There's all the 10 yards of backing going out after the white um, line. I'll do one more cast with this and then go on to a, a six foot sinking section. The wind's dropped a bit again, but you can still see you can get a fair distance even in these fairly calm conditions by allowing the line to completely straighten. Straighten, stop, pause. I'd like now to go back on to the other six foot sinking tip line and see if we can get the same distance once again. These are very useful lines. Um, for still water bank fishing and becoming very very popular and if you've got a fairly long leader a lot of people don't require um, full sinking lines they're just using the floating lines with the sinking tip at the end they're very very versatile so I'll just change this and go back on to another one with a six foot sinking section right I'm on to another line here this is actually a, a six foot sinking section or six foot Six tip, very very popular and very useful line. A lot of people are actually sticking to floating lines with a various length of sink tip. You don't have to bother with a full sinker. So again, if I take the um, the whole line out, as I say, you can see how you can actually cast the whole line out and get many many yards of the backing beyond it, as long as you make the rod work for you. As I said earlier, just back forward. right down without any great effort. You're not putting a huge amount of effort in our body movement. Unfortunately, a lot of people, as I explained before in some um, DVDs, they're actually trying to cast through their body instead of letting the rod do the work for them. It's all about compressing the rod. Once you get that maximum compression, the line just shoots forward in the forward cast if you get the right um, tension on the rod and line. So, straight back. Let the line go 
get back on that side. All right, good. I'll do one more. As I say, this, this is uh, another shorter line. This is actually only 90 feet or 30 yards. A very popular line um, for a lot of people starting out. And you can see how the whole line goes out and another 10 yards, which gives you, if you include the leader, about 45 yards. So it's a useful, very useful distance um, to cover quite a lot of water. So if you watch here, we stop. Line the back. We have many. Uh, that's another 10, 12 yards of back and going beyond it. And again, aiming always, saying high up, and I let the line and rod flow onto the water. Just let the line come down from a fairly high uh, trajectory and just drift on down with the rod, and you've got a much better presentation. You'll get the leader straightening out, and as I said earlier, a quieter presentation. So if you watch once again, one final cast with this um, six foot, six foot pause. All right, the line goes. got now it's a very popular just a full um, intermediate line and if you watch here you'll see it's actually a double tapered line this a lot of people preferred double tapered for dry fly fishing but you can see even with the double tapered line you can actually you're not restricted to a head length you can actually aerialize more line and if you watch here you can see the whole line the double tapered line it's only a 30 yard line but you can hold it up and then the whole line can go out without any great problem and you find that you can actually hold up a whole lot more line because you're not restricted as I said to a specific head length so we're trying to hold up many more yards than let's say um, 40 45 or 50 feet you can see how easy it is just to lift the line off with a double tapered line and then recast with one fall just lift let it straighten back get another false cast See the whole line going out, that's a, a 30 yard double tapered line, a very useful line as I said for um, getting a very fast delivery and casting into the wind and various other various techniques you can use. A lot of people don't bother with double tapered lines, they mainly weight forward but this is a, a double tapered 8 and you can see how easy it is to just lift off one false cast and then line it down one false cast and then the whole line cast forward. So you can see again, with, even with a double tapered line, you can get a fair distance. And I said earlier, you can actually increase the weight of the line because you're not restricted by a head length. If you watch here, up, you get the whole line going out. And again, the um, idea of getting a good high trajectory in the forward cast gives you the chance to get the line straightening and gives you, as I said, a quieter presentation. So a cast here with this double tapered, um, you can see it's well over 125 feet, well over 40 yards. And you must always try and aim for a good straight cast. Straight, pause, forward. I'll just do another quick cast. It's quite easy if you've got the right technique to hold a lot of line in the air. You don't really have to restrict yourself to specific head length, particularly, as I say, with a double tapered, you can cast um, a fair length by extending greatly the weight of the line. Uh, 
close. This is probably the, the last line that I'm trying out. It's actually a high density line. Um, very, very useful if you want to fish very deeply in some of the still water from the bank. It's gone out very, very well indeed. It's very thin diameter and uh, the lines go through the air very, very fast. So it's very important to aim fairly high, otherwise you're going to spl splash onto the water and let it. Now you can see it's another, um, it's a 120 feet or a 40 yard line and you can see how you, without any great difficulty you can get a whole line going out and um, several yards worth of backing beyond it. So if you include the leader you're still getting roughly over, just over 150 or 50 yards with this line. And again you make sure that you put enough compression in the rod to get the line working for you. Let the rod do the work. Um, up, pause, forward. I'll just do another one here. Get that rod flexing. Right up, back across. Up, forward. There we are. That's the, the whole 40 yard line going out plus another um, four or five yards of the backing. So yeah, that's 45 then you've got your leader. So most of the lines we've been using today, you're getting around about the between 45 and 50 yards. It's probably the longest cast we measured with 54 yards. So it shows you what's possible with actual weight forward lines and without resorting to shooting heads and monofilament um, backing. As long as you've got the right technique and make, as I say, make the rod work, you can get really impressive distances with ordinary lines. None of these are specialised lines, they're all um, standard lines you can buy in the tackle shops. And the longest one, as I say, we used today was 150 feet, that's 50 yards, right down to 90 feet, that was the 30 yard line. But this is, as I say, is the um, 120 feet or a 40 yard line. And once again, you can see how by making the rod work, Get the there's the whole line going out and all that back again behind it.